Hi, welcome to Parent Guide. Today we're going to be talking about stocking your child's special independent work and play area. So you're going to want to locate a variety of toys and activities around your home that will interest your children and will support um, a lot of different areas of their development. This is not about stressing over academics or providing a huge amount of things for them to do. Just choose a few things that will really keep their attention or it is at their level right now. You don't want to pick anything too easy or too challenging. And you want to notice um, down the road if, if things are being misused in, um, in an unwanted way or if they're not being touched or if they seem too challenging or too easy, you're going to want to rotate these things out because these are things you look for um, when unwanted behaviors arise. And if you keep those things rotating, um, it will support your child's interest and they will be happy and engaged. And remember, less is better. The more things you have out, the harder and ch more challenging it is for your child to see what's available and be able to manage it. Some things, sometimes things just end up all in one big pile or if there's too many things, they don't know where it goes. And so you really want this to be beautiful and simplistic and easy for the child to manage. So I'm gonna be giving you um, just a few examples of some things you could put out. Um, I will have uh, videos in the future or workshops about specific uh, endless activities and ideas, things you can do. But today I'm just gonna go over a few um, examples and ideas. Now you're only gonna want about six to eight things per child. So if you have one child, you probably don't need more than seven items. If you have three children, you could you know, put 18 things out and they will keep themselves busy. You just have to remember to um, kind of keep an eye out on things, making sure things are being used and they're challenging enough. If your child is older and has schoolwork, the area can be set up with just pencils and paper and the computer and things like that and maybe some puzzles and some books and things to keep them busy um, after their schoolwork is done. So some examples of things you could have on your shelves. You could have a little tray with some scissors and different cutting strips. So the older children could do uh, things like this and younger children might need more simple, just straight lines or curvy lines that go straight across. This would go right on your shelf. The child would bring it to the table or to a work rug and they would practice their cutting skills. Another option could be a little whiteboard with a dry erase marker. And a younger child could just draw on it or an older child could practice writing words. And when they're done, they put it all back on the tray and take the whole tray back to the shelf. Here I have a tray with markers, so there are a limited amount. There's not a whole big thing where it would just end up being a mess. And a tray with a piece of paper. And so they would take the whole thing and they would make a picture and then they would take it and put it back. The key thing here is to remind them um, to only use one thing at a time and when they're done to put it back and they will start to feel a sense of pride that they can clean up after themselves and actually manage this. Um, you could also have a yoga mat or something similar to a yoga mat and also some yoga cards or you could print off some yoga poses so that they can choose that whenever they would like. Um, also you could have a tray with some Play-Doh that they can put back into a container with maybe a little knife and some cups. Um, and then if you want to use glue, I have these little containers that you put glue in and use a little glue brush and that uh, prevents um, a lot of mess. So these are the type of things that you could put on there that the child can independently pull off, put on to a table, or to um, their work rug and they can play with it and then they can put it back. So I hope that you have enjoyed um, having some ideas of things you can put in your special area. If you have questions or comments, you can email us at peacecenters at gmail.com and I'll be happy to answer your questions. 
Uh, good luck setting up your spaces and join us for my next video when we talk about how to incorporate practical life skills into your home. Now that this is a great time now that your children are home with you and they can partake in helping you do chores and learning new skills. Take care.